Prices at the pump continue to rise. New Jersey's gas tax was one of the lowest in the country, but roughly two years ago it went up 23 cents. It was done to replenish the Transportation Trust Fund, which the state uses to pay for bridges, roads, and rail work. It's most definitely going to give us funding to move things, uh, uh, you know, advance things at a rate that is going to put the, the traveling public in a better position. That's because the agreement is an eight-year, $2 billion per year deal. The federal match dollars brings the total to $32 billion. And counties in the Garden State, like Burlington, say they are already benefiting. Typically we do between 17 and 20 miles a year. This uh, Next year we will have almost 40 miles of roadway that's going to be overlaid. Uh, we typically do one to two bridges a year. Uh, we're going to be looking to do three to four bridges a year moving forward. A Gloucester County freeholder says it's the same in her area. She told us they have 12 major projects in the works that would have happened regardless of the extra money, but... With the refunded TTF and the doubling of our county aid allocation ensures is that we can meet those needs on schedule and move some programs up. So, for example, this year, instead of doing $3.5 million worth of capital infrastructure improvements, we can do $7 million. As more gets done to improve the overall infrastructure, electric vehicles do come into play. It was a topic highlighted at this Southern New Jersey Development Council event. I think from a planning perspective, the state's in a really good spot uh, declaring an EV task force uh, that will contemplate kind of the chicken and egg issue. You know, do electric cars come first or is the infrastructure? A senior manager at Tesla says his company thinks it's a bit of both. We're building the compelling cars that hopefully people will be encouraged to purchase and own and drive. Uh, but we're also making a private investment uh, to our supercharger network. Tesla currently has 10 supercharging locations in the Garden State, but he says they plan to double that footprint by the end of this year. From you know, a strategic perspective, you need to make sure that the power is there um, and you know, essentially getting power to the pad uh, is, is something that should be developed in new construction, and uh, particularly when parking cars is uh, being contemplated. The smart grid and technology manager at Pepco Holding adds that you also have to think about charging being mostly done at the residence. And that's most likely going to happen when we have our peak on in the afternoons when air conditioning load and cooking load is at its highest. So if we can create intelligent ways to in, in incentivize customers to charge off peak, then that's better for our infrastructure. We don't have to needlessly replace things like residential transformers uh, and do other upgrades to allow electric vehicles to integrate seamlessly into the existing distribution system. The state has about 14,000 plug-in vehicles in use right now, but Charge EVC, a group made up of car dealers, electric utilities, and manufacturers of charging stations, hope to get 330,000 zero-emission vehicles on the road in New Jersey by 2025. In Glassboro, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.